Yeah, uh, so Robbie, you were um, asking around to see if you can find any word on your uh, on your outlaw mother. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just uh, kind of using the fact that that people are are relaxing to uh, you know talk to to some of them, and also just to kind of listen for what I can pick up about the military, uh, the front line, as it were, right? What, what's going on further south? Do I hear any kind of news of of any kind of guerrilla action that mm -hmm. uh, might involve somebody sounding like my my mother who might be involved in that uh, activity? Cool, oh, this, is, this is a sensible thing to do. Uh, it is uh, probably a contact um, role, which uh, maybe is not your forte, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll roll. I did roll quite well. I rolled a 91. Ooh. Uh, my, contact is a, it, it, my contact is only a two. Um, oh, wow. Like one. You still yeah, get passable. You, you make it by passable by one percentage point. But that still is passable. I, I, may, maybe the fact that I'm, I'm kind of emotionally invested in this has helped me or something like that. You are asking the right people because obviously there's many people here who've travelled up from uh, hill country down in the south uh, where uh, you used to live and where your, um, your mother used to raid over, in, over the border and attack the nomad encampments and things. Um, so uh, are you telling people why you're looking for uh, mob print drift? Uh, that she's your mother or are you just asking him? Um, because I, I don't know that I necessarily identify it specifically as my mother, but I, I do, I do, I think, pass on knowledge of, of, you know, some of the guerrilla raiders and kind of, I'm aware of like the tactics that they use and things like that. So I, I would mm -hmm. kind of at least kind of present some knowledge uh, that, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not just completely randomly fishing, but mm -hmm. I, I kind of have some specific knowledge of, of the tactics and uh, the approach that some of these guerrilla raiders would take. Cool. So, um, uh, what you first find is that about four or five people just around this campfire uh, know the ballad of the outlaw Modra, uh, Modra. Um It's a relatively new uh, song, but everyone loves it, and it's been uh, absorbed into the uh, Hillfolk can already. Um, and uh, various people say they saw someone who saw someone who, who has seen her uh, in the move, in the drive north, um, and it's possible she is in this region. But you don't get anything more specific than that. Okay. Good roll, but anyway. Um, right. Uh, I don't know if, if Christabel had anything she wanted to do. Um, yeah, On actually. This lovely evening. I'm, uh, I think Christabel is a little drunk, mm -hmm. and... There's a roll for that if you want to make it, but... Uh... There's a roll for that, wow. <laughs> Let, well, if there's a roll I'll for that. I'll explore that at a later time. Uh, <laughs> right now, uh, I think I am going to trail after, uh, trail after Shining Star. Mm-hmm. And sort of be like, hey, you really got something. Have you considered taking on management? Because we could make a lot of money in town. Um, I'm not right. planning on right. hanging out at this refugee camp for my entire life. No, we do know each other, as stated, right? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. No. We can wreck on that a little bit. That's all right. Um, and, I'll, and I'll say, I just need a steak while I can figure out what to do. So if you're good at that kind of thing, then you and I could talk. Hey, listen. Uh, hold on. H help me out here just a sec. Uh, let me introduce you to Lucky Luke. Hey, Lucky Luke. Hey, yes, uh, uh, young lady? Well, we, we've he's already at least... Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Right. yeah. So, uh, so I say, uh, my associate here and I uh, are kind of curious... Uh, I have been away for some time, 
and I don't really know all of these this news that's swirling all about. Can you explain to me a little bit about what everybody's doing? What war are we talking about? I mean, there have been wars with the nomads before. I've never seen. I've lived. I lived in Smith City all my life, and I have never seen this kind of uh, uh, visit uh-huh. before. So I figure, Luke, you must know a thing or two about this. Maybe help me understand it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, the way it seems to be is uh, more and more of the uh, the high ups in, in the Hill Folk um, councils have been uh, agitating, uh, rattling their spears and saying we've got to, got to take the war back over into nomad territory. It's... Um, uh, yeah, ever since uh, all the all the trouble down south with um, uh, the Ruamites and things like that, there's been uh, more and more tensions. And uh, that lady uh, Naomi D, she's uh, really leading a, a charge to say we have to show the nomads that we mean business, or they'll be. In I want the to get an idea of far. how how into this is Luke. I mean, does he buy this, or is he just getting the hell out of yeah. Dodge, as it were? Um, or is he, uh, is he kind of like, yeah, and you know, when we go back down there, we're going to kick ass. I mean, where is he coming from as my empathy role may inform me? Cool. Go for um, it. Uh, it's against, uh, possible. No, it might not be so good. I'm not that good at it. Yeah. I get an inferior result, which is two columns away or three, if I have to include impassable. So, uh, I don't know if that's the case okay. for failure. So, uh, so I don't do a real good job. I, I don't know how you're going to narrate okay. that, but can I jump this train and make my empathy roll? Or uh, you, you can. But first of all, um, go ahead and Christian yeah. be, Are you are you uh, in general uh, letting people know your back to, uh, your history among the hill folk, or are, are you trying to travel incognito? I'm not. Uh, well, I'm not lying to anyone about who I am, but I'm not, uh... You're not, you're not going out your way. Volunteer. <laughs> cool. Um, how, can, how can I put this? This is a sort of a... I would like to kind of take advantage of social conventions where you, if you're hanging around the camp, you don't necessarily need to know the names of the people you're... No, no that's cool. You know uh, what I mean? In this case, uh, make a fate roll first. Make a fate roll? Yep. Oh, I have a f- statistic called fate. I believe that's that is a, a skill in this game. Yeah. That's what we okay, call it. yes. Skill. Everything is a skill in this that's game. That's right. I'm so good at fate, you guys. Well, not on paper, but I rolled really high. I got a superior result. All right. Cool. So, um, uh, I will incorporate that while you go ahead and roll your empathy roll that you wanted to make just to uh, get a, a read on Lucky Luke. Okay, so here's the empathy. Well, now that's terrible and I'm... Oh, the ironies of games. That's a feeble result. <laughs> you know, I... Uh, if you want to spit on this, I actually think Christabel is in the headspace of kind of washing her hands of the hill folk and their uh their troubles uh so maybe she's not in the right and she's drunk it's probably just cool. not in the right frame of mind so uh nobody recognizes that you are the infamous christopher b who um betrayed all of hill folk society to the uh, uh nomads but um uh difficult to tell with luke apparently um He's here. Uh, he says, you know, he's in the past. He's fought the nomads. He's uh, ridden with his spear brothers, and, uh, uh, showing them what for. But he's got the, the memories and the wounds to to go with it. And it's kind of, you know. Well, so he's been there, but we don't really know what he thinks. Yeah. Not at the moment. Yeah. yeah, it must be that he's a master of self control and restraint, because it can't be that we are thick. <laughs> <laughs> well. Some of it could be that it's you know, it's uh, a dangerous time to be talking too freely as well. Because, uh, mm-hmm. He's got his family here to look after, and um, uh, you've all seen uh, in the in the camps the um, uh, bleeding heart militia who are um, 
just other hill folk, but they have a, a bit of a uniform and this uh, embroidered heart with a uh, drop of blood falling from it, uh, who are part of the uh, the push towards defending the homeland and uh, defending the um, hill folk from the nomads and taking the fight for them. And they are uh, supposedly helping out uh, manage the, the camp and the exodus, but they're also... Um, uh, you may have heard suggestions that sometimes they are also uh, finding uh, volunteers to go to the front. Yeah. So. Um, well, that's going to be high on your twos list. Uh, well, yes, so. Yeah. Uh, moving ahead, there's a bit of a commotion uh, sort of, uh, nearby in the, in the camp. Uh, people exclaiming, screaming, uh, and uh, then into the light around the campfire, heading uh, towards uh, you, uh, girl. A strange, deformed figure. Uh, would you like to make, uh, let me think what would this be, uh, probably um, alertness roll? Yes, I get alertness roll. I rolled um, a 71, so with my alertness, that would give me a superior. Cool. In that case, you can, you can um, uh, see this figure coming towards you. Uh, coming towards you is, is stumbling because he has arrows sticking out of his back. Um, he's a, a, a male, but um, uh, looks to you, it, well, he is partly uh, transforming into a wolf and partly not and shifting, and his body is... Uh, tormented by um, the transformation partially taking place and then the fangs emerging from his mouth and then withdrawing again as he stumbles towards you. You can tell with the superior role that he's another wolf uh, But this is not how a normal transformation for a wolf occurs. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Grill would be very quick to lend assistance, but also to move this figure a little bit into the dark so cool. that he would not be quite as noticeable uh, what, what exactly was going on. Um, I know that, that in, in, uh, in some societies, uh, being known as a wolfling is, is not, mm -hmm. uh, not beneficial uh, and, and can be, in fact, dangerous. So. Okay. You know, I, I would kind of quickly kind of move up. I'm sure, and, the, I'm sure the Herder Hill folk love their werewolves. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not werewolves, they're wolflings. There's a difference. Um, well, I have one, they have both. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, you, can, you can help him away from uh, into the, the darkness behind one of the tents. That's fine. Uh, are, are we aware of this, or should I make a roll to be aware of this, or are you going to say we are? Or, I was we... going to say you are, but if you want to make a roll to see if you're aware, and then... No, I'm, I'll run with it because I've got another roll I'd like to make. Sure, um, okay. No, you can definitely be aware of that. And okay, um, so uh, I'll, I'll like. move swiftly into position to use fast talk to flim flam everybody so that she can get away without any kind of hassle. Um, so I'm going to draw okay. attention and talk, uh, talk up a blue streak. Um, now, on the other hand, I find myself caught with my sheet down because I have to look up to see what, uh, how fast talk works, which I suppose I could have been my. No, I'm I'm right on it. I'm like a step away from my elf here. Just went right over it as I passed over to Entomolian. But ah, here we go. All right. But um, looking in the wrong place because fast talk is a spy ability. Um, oh right. And it's based on. Uh, it's based on. Oh, thought so. But uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, let's see, uh, you can people will remain befuddled for uh, a victory roll of their intelligence versus your charm of, uh, times five minutes. Okay. So Go I ahead. have made my roll, and I shall tell you how I did on my roll using the ten because of my ordinary clothes. Mm -hmm. I have successfully received a pathetic result. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, 
Uh, let me think. Uh, <laughs> Don't I'm look the... over there at the tall, weird-looking, scary lady with the guy with the arrow sticking out of his back. That wouldn't mean anything. You said uh, pathetic role? Because sadly, uh, your average hill folk has good intelligence, and therefore um, you right. have definitely right. uh, not managed to fast talk anybody. Um, although, uh, making an exhibition of stuff, maybe they, they are paying more attention to you than they are to. Um, uh, uh, this yeah, I didn't get a catastrophic, uh, which would mean that they would suddenly all go yeah. and tackle you, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're just looking at you a bit funny, and it's like you know, elves wandering around here by themselves anyway is a bit weird, and now here you are talking some random nonsense at them. Uh, maybe you can make it up later on with a bit more. Um, right, Robbie. Uh, girl has. Um, in her arms, uh, sagging into her arms, the, the form of this uh, wolfling. Uh, he is uh, bleeding and moaning, and uh, he says, "I found you. I knew I could. I, I knew someone was here. One of the one of our tribe um, tracked you down. I need your help." And he thrusts uh, a small leather pouch into your hand, and he says. Uh, tell Modfrith, uh, uh, they're not taking it by the road. The, the, the shipment is going, and then he's like moaning and groaning and collapsing. Yeah, I, I think Grill is w with, with what he says she is really torn because mm -hmm. there's part of her that's like immediately I, I i want to start administering some type of medical care to him mm -hmm. but but grill is also uh, you know madrith um what, what do you know about about madrith is, is she close that's a good question uh and that's... are you interrogating this poor injured person it rather <laughs> sounds like you are <laughs> um, um. Yeah, I suppose we could we could go. I mean, I don't. I don't you have can also good... try and. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I am trying to get you know, with that little bit of information, I'm. I'm Grill is definitely um, on high alert and and very emotional. Like you know, hearing somebody who yeah, maybe has like direct uh, contact with with Madrith. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in that, but I'm 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 also kind of at the same time trying to get him into a dark place where I can kind of start tending to the to the wounds, because uh, obviously I know that if I can if I can uh -huh. heal him up, maybe I could get even more information from him. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Um, how how sensitive of you? <laughs> <laughs> as far as I can tell, there's no rules for how to heal people who aren't player characters. But we'll, we'll, we'll well, there's that. a medical there's a medical skill. There is, right? There because you don't take injuries the same way that foes do. Right. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it works against if you do that, but we can we can work with that. That's fine. Well, you got um, you can call us count columns, right, and assign them yeah, units. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, let's see how uh, responsive he is to being questioned first. So you can make an interrogate roll. Even though that seems particularly harsh for this poor interview. Um, hey, it's not going to be good. <laughs> um, yeah, this this would be actually a catastrophic uh, result. Cool. Put a mark next to next to interrogate on it. Well, it's 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 because not a it's not a natural catastrophic oh. role. But, How can but, it not be natural? Give you any changes to it? Oh, how so is it? How is it not natural? Well, isn't it that? Um, oh no, no, yeah, no, it, it would be yes. If because you I land in that place, yeah, then it's a, then you get it. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's only if you shift it over. Yeah, Correct. I am being terrible at giving people shift. So, right. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, yeah, he's babbling something, but you can't hear it. He's uh, vaguely conscious. Uh, it's difficult to understand what someone's saying when their mouth keeps descending into wolf, um, into yeah. a wolf snout, and then going back. Uh, I have to tell to you, I have to tell you, <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, but you have him around behind, uh, uh, there's a small copse of trees with some tents 
uh, sort of pitch next to them and you've got him in, in the shade under there in the dark. 